So today we're looking at the derivation of a divisor of a line segment. So here I have two axes or a plane. I've got my y axis and my x axis. And I've placed a line on that plane. And the line has two points, begins with P and Q. And along that line, not necessarily in the center, is this point OR. Now, I'm told two pieces of information here. I'm told that OR divides the line segment OR P. Q, sorry, so OR divides the line segment PQ in a ratio of A's to B. So from P to OR is A and from OR to Q is B. And what I might be asked to do here is to figure out what those points are. So be it figure out points P, figure out point OR or figure out point Q. And that's necessarily what we're looking for here, the divisor of a line segment. Okay, so I'm given a question here. A is minus 5, 3. B is 3 minus 1, and there are two points. Find the coordinates of C, which divide AB in the ratio of 3 is to 1. So always I find with any of these things, the easiest thing you can do here is do a bit of a visualisation. So I'm going to draw myself a nice clear line. Now, obviously that could be up on a plane, it can be vertical, horizontal, whatever way. Um, but just, I suppose, for easiness sake, I'm going to call this A and this part here B. So this is my line segment AB. Um, my A point is minus 5 and 3. And my B point is 3 and minus 1. Now, it's split in the ratio of 3 is to 1. So that basically means there are four parts. Okay, so imagine it in quarters, and again, this is just really rough, so one quarter, that'd be a half. So I'd say this is nearly where C is, okay, in the sense that this is in the ratio of three, and this is in the ratio of one. So just have a look at what I've just done there. So we're asked to find the point C using this information here. And to do that, I can use a formula. And this formula is given to you on page 18 of your log tables. And it is OR equals BX1 plus AX2 all divided by B plus A. And then your other point is BY1 plus AY2 all over B plus A. And in this case, because we're looking for C, I'm going to change the OR and write C. Again, it relates to whatever point you're looking for. Okay, so what does the rest of this language mean? We're going to chat about that now. First things first, your ratio here is three is to one. And in that sense, this stands for your A and this stands for your B. So if you look now, we've filled in the Bs and the As. We just have our X1s, X2s, Y1s, Y2s, and we'll use them from the points. So I will label as follows x1, y1, x2, y2. And now I'm just going to simply sub in all of this information into this equation here. All right, so C is equal to, instead of writing B, I'm going to write one. One times minus five plus three times three all divided by one plus three. And your other coordinate is as follows. One times three plus three times minus one all over one plus three. To break that down just a little bit further and finish it off, uh, you will get minus five plus nine all over four. And you're in your other coordinate, you're gonna get three minus three all over four and if you were to break that down even further you'd get that the point C is equal to one and zero so I got my one from this and this will give me zero so that is the point C it's the point one and zero okay so that's our first look at the divisor using a line segment 
Okay, example two here says, consider the points A is four and six, B is minus four, two, and C is X and Y. Given that the point B divides the line segment AC internally and the ratio of two is to three, find the coordinates of AC. And if it's a line segment, remember it will have those marks there. Okay, so first things first is I'm going to draw a visual here just to give myself an idea of what's actually occurring. So I have a straight line here and the line is called AC. So I have A here, and I do know A. A is 4 and 6. And at the end of it here, I have C. And C, I just know to be X and Y. I am told it's divided in the ratio of 2 is to 3, which means there's five parts. So if you were to imagine to break this up into fifths, so 1 fifth, 2 fifth, 3 fifth, 4 fifth, 5 fifth. And that's very rough. But it gives the, the idea, so I would say that this would be two-fifths, so if I was to take away all of those, this would be my two-fifth. So I might place my letter B here, and B is minus four, two. So I'm in the ratio of two is to three, so that I'm aware of that as well. So I've just filled in all of that information. Have a look at what I've done there now. Okay, once we've filled out the information, the next port of call is to write down our formula and get our marks for that. In this case, we're looking for C. So um, we are told some information though. The formula always helps us just find the divisor. So in this case, I do know that B is equal to the formula of BX1 plus AX2 all over B plus A. And the second coordinate is by1 plus ay2 all over b plus a. I remember that all this formula helps me find the divisor, which in this case is b. So what do I know from there? Well, I fill in what I know. I know the ratio here is 2 is to 3. Therefore, this is my a and this is my b. And I go by filling it in as normal. In this case, I do know the middle part, so I know that b is four two, or sorry, is minus four two. So I will write that minus four two is equal to three. So remember, my b was three. Three times four plus two times, and I don't know the answer to that, so I'll leave it as x. All over three plus two. And in my other coordinate, I have three times six plus two times y, all over three plus two. And if I'm to work that out a little bit more, I'm gonna get minus four and two is equal to 12 plus two x, all over five, and the other one then is 18 plus two y, all over five. Now you might ask, how am I going to move this on a bit further? Well, what do I know? I know that one is in terms of y and one is in terms of x. I know that this is my x coordinate and I know this is my y coordinate. Likewise, this would be my x coordinate and this would be my y coordinate. So I'm going to let x equal x, y equal y and solve. So if I was to do that, I would then have, might make things minus four equals 12 plus two x all over five. So obviously I'm going to multiply both sides by five to get rid of that. And I'm gonna get minus 20 equals 12 plus two X. And you know how to finish that off yourself, nice and easy, first year stuff, and you should get X equals 16, minus 16. On the other option here, I have two equals 18 plus two Y all over five. So again, multiply both sides by five, and I will get 10 equals 18 plus 2y, solve on down, and you should get y equals minus 4. And then that helps me go back here and say, OK, well, it's, my answer is minus 16 minus 4. OK, so we're going to open up to page 273. Make sure you've taken down those notes carefully. Um, and you're going to do question one for me. I'll see everybody tomorrow.